Hey guys, Buildzoid here, back from my vacation. Um, I, I'm only in a good mood because I got this <laughs> to stand up for like the intro and, and it still hasn't fallen. But anyway, I am back from my uh, my vacation. Um, the vacation kind of sucked. Uh, so, yeah. But now I'm back. We got plenty of liquid nitrogen. We got tons of hardware to play with. And this place is an absolute disaster zone. Um, I mean, part of that is me and never, like, really cleaning up. But the other part is also I wasn't here for several days, so now there's, like, freaking spider webs everywhere. So, while I'd like to say there will be a video tomorrow, there probably won't be because uh, I'll be still trying to, like, clean the place up a bit, in theory. Um, there's almost enough space on the desk behind me to start doing soldering work again, but... Uh, and the, the desk over there, well, that's become a storage area, so that, that's not an issue, but yeah, I, I, I need to get a few more boxes to sort of clean the place up. So, that's a thing, and I just clipped the freaking mic. It's so weird. It's, you know, out, out of practice talking into the microphone. Anyway, um... In terms of actual hardware that we'll be looking at, I have good news for people who like old garbage and bad news for people who like new stuff. So, uh, I've recently, so a viewer sent in a GTX 480, so that'll be coming in from the post box, uh, from the PO box sometime soon. I, I don't actually know when. We'll be messing around with that. Other than that, um, I also finally want to get to the, get around to the GTX 590 again. That's sitting in a box somewhere. Um, I think I might have a fix for like the super, super zombified 290X. But on the off chance that I can't get that thing to accept the AMD drivers, this is a working 290X. So th this is the card I actually use to like figure out what I need to do on the other card because believe me, I do not want to take all of those power boards off just to get to the voltage controller right here. Um, so in theory, just cramming a signal down the power good pin, well, just pulling power good high might get the driver to accept the card, but I'm, I'm not really sure about that because there's a lot of stuff wrong with that IR3567 uh, on that card. So yeah, but I'll try that. It's literally just hooking up a single wire from 3.3 volts and a resistor and then to there. So that is probably coming. There's a whole bunch of PCB breakdowns that that's like, just consider how many graphics cards, motherboards and stuff has been made and how many PCB breakdowns I've done. Yeah, obviously I'm not going to run out of content anytime soon for that. Um, what else is there? Uh, right, I got a Phenom 2 960T, um, which will try some five core benchmarking with liquid nitrogen on. Uh, I still haven't really benchmarked the FX6350 I have. There's an 8320E sitting somewhere. Um, I could also rebench the 965 Phenom. Uh, what else is there? Right, the HD7970 could finally go for a spin on liquid nitrogen. Uh, just needs to fix up a few volt mods. Basically, as soon as I clear up that part of the desk and start being able to solder things without, you know, doing it on, like, the 10 square centimeters that are available at the edge of the desk, then... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll start benching a lot of stuff on liquid nitrogen. Uh, for people who are wondering about Coffee Lake and Ryzen, you know, Ryzen 2000. Um, well, Ryzen 2000 hasn't launched yet, so that's far future. Uh, Coffee Lake has launched, but I still don't have a CPU. Not my problem. Uh, nor do I have any motherboards. So, yeah, that's, that's great. Um, but we do have X299, so we might mess around with X299. There might be some live streams. Actually, um, if I'm going to be putting GPUs on liquid nitrogen, they're definitely going to be going on to X299. Speaking of liquid nitrogen and GPUs, I've got two more LN2 pots coming sometime this week, I hope. So, uh, that, that should be fun to play with as well. So we'll test out, a. will be getting a Kingpin Venom, uh, which I really want to try out KB Lake again on that, because that pot should go colder than a fusion. I'm not entirely sure, but it should. And then there's also the, the and I'll also be getting one of those Kingpin Tech 9 Fat LN2 pots. So we'll be able to do maybe like a comparison of the Tech 9 Fat against the Raptor 4, 
But, more importantly, I'll be able to put the HD 7990 uh, on LN2. So we'll have two LN2 pots on that thing, and that'll be really cool, in my opinion. I'm, I'm, I'm super excited to do that. So we're just waiting for the LN2 pots to turn up. Um, I think that, like, with how much I've run Vega 64 with, like, zero insulation on the card, at this point, I'm pretty confident in my ability to run a card with, like, no Plasti Dip on the PCB. So it won't necessarily, like you know, I, I'm, well, I'll probably, I'm not sure, I can't figure out, if it, like, make up my mind, should I or should I not Plasti Dip the 7990? Because the thing is, I kind of want to run the 7990 in my daily system, on the off chance that it doesn't blow up, because that four-phase VRM is, like, it, it's a really nice four-phase, but it's still a four-phase, it's anemic as hell. Um, yeah, the, the card's over there, so that's why I'm looking that way. Yeah, I, I, well, we'll see. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, lots of stuff to look forward to. Um, oh, and uh, the GTX 480 will be getting an e-power. And I still have that GTX 680 lying around. So, yeah, you know, there's, there's so much stuff I could be doing. Um, it's just I'm not going to be doing it when there's, like, dust everywhere and spider webs and, and everywhere is a mess. So, yeah, but there might be PCB breakdowns because ultimately I don't need a lot of space to do those. So, yeah, it's good to be back, and I just wanted to make you all aware of that. I mean, I've technically been back for two days now, but I only got around to making this video now. So, yeah, um, that's that. We Hopefully, um, you know, th th this year I managed to put out more videos than last year, because the more garbage you post on YouTube, the more views you get, and that's just how it works. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, uh, consider... Ah, screw the... Uh, yeah, no, do, do consider donating to the Patreon. I feel so awkward about doing that all the time. Anyway, um, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.